Hi students, uh, so recently on uh, May 17th we got update regarding uh, SSC JE exam dates that is 9th October, starting date is 9th October. So in October we have around uh, 8 days and uh, here also we have around 8-9 uh, days. So from today 23rd, so today is completed. So around 8 days, we have, okay, let us keep 7 days only. So here we have approximately uh, half month and uh, June, July, August, September. So we have approximately 4 and a half months in our hand to complete the SSC JE syllabus. Already most of you already prepared for state government jobs, students particularly from Telugu states. But still, uh, I suggest you to watch SSC JE videos as well because the focus areas will be slightly different in SSC JE and we will be solving SSC JE previous questions as well. So students, if you are not interested in watching the classes, particularly Telugu state students, I am telling you, at least watch the previous question solving uh, videos from SSC JE part in every topic, okay, so that you get extra exposure which should be uh, very helpful for your uh, AE examination. Of, of course, we do not get the exam date for Telangana students also. I suggest you to watch RRB JE videos as well if possible. If not possible, at least watch the previous question solving videos that will be upcoming, okay. So that is the suggestion and uh, uh, for AP students obviously this is the best option that you will be getting, okay. And the students who can crack SSC JE will be cracking RRB JE because that is a bulk recruitment. But department wise if you get a better department like SSC JE, CPWD only then that is a better option. If you get RRB JE design drawing we will be going RRB JE. So depending on the department we will be having two options whether to go SSC JE or RRB JE. SSC JE recruitment process is uh, uh, generally around 2 years it will take because there is a descriptive examination again. So generally SSC JE will take more time that is the reason and relatively number of posts are very high for RRB JE this time that is coming. So that is the main reason more focus will be towards RRB JE. But uh, syllabus planning will be like initially we will be completing SSC JE syllabus before SSC JE examination and then completely focus towards RRB JE till RRB JE examination whether it is a uh, in December or January, February, March, whatever. And then uh, next year, uh, we will be focusing on GATE and ESC. So this is how we have planned for now, okay. Uh, so approximately we have four and a half months, okay. So students from AP, uh, see the syllabus different. Uh, I already give the classification of SSCJ and RRBG syllabus in the same PDF. So if you have not watched that PDF, I will be sharing in the telegram group. We are maintaining a separate group for, for a central government job. If you have not joined, I will share the link. You can join. So today I will post that uh, comparison PDF in that uh, same group as well. So you can uh, check out that what are the syllabus that we'll, we have to complete particularly regarding SSCJE. So four and a half months should be sufficient to cover the syllabus for SSCJE. No need to worry. Definitely sufficient because you have already prepared for state government job. You know the concept. What you need is you have to know the focus areas of SSC only. So for understanding the concept, you don't need much time. So definitely it is sufficient, need not worry. So things will automatically work out. Already most of you might have already written SSC JE as well. So nothing to worry. I wish you all the best and uh, thanks for watching.